featherweight champ Alexander Volkanovsky facing two opponents Saturday night, Ilya Topuria and Father Time. Whatever else they say about UFC featherweight champion Alexander Volkanovsky when his fighting career is finally over, let the record reflect that the man was a good sport. How else can you explain his appearance at this week's UFC 298 pre-fight news conference ahead of Saturday night's title fight with Ilya Topuria, 14-0. With questions swirling about his age and his ongoing ability to hold off the young whippersnappers coming for his 145 pound title, Volkanovsky, 26 to 3, showed up looking like he was headed to a costume party dressed as his own grandfather. He had the drag cardigan. He had the spectacles on a chain around his neck. He had the newsboy cap that practically screamed, can I offer you some soft candy that's been in my pocket all day? The whole ensemble communicated a very clear message, if we're going to be out here talking about whether he's too old to hold on to the belt, he might as well join in on the joke. Volkanovsky is 35, just so we're clear. In almost any other line of work, he'd be on the young side of middle age. But for a pro fighter, not to mention one in the lighter weight classes, three and a half decades has become a line of demarcation. In a legitimately hilarious video put out prior to Saturday night's UFC 298 headliner, Volkanovsky donned the same old man uniform while referencing the over 35 curse. But the thing is, it's not so much a curse as it is a story of statistics. The data compiled by ex-user at Volcara France, and first spotlighted by Morning Combat co-host Luke Thomas, tells us that fighters 35 and over are just 1 to 21 in UFC title fights against younger competitors in all the divisions south of middleweight. The heavier weight classes. It's a different story. We've seen 40-year-old heavyweights who look like they could easily fight five more years, especially in those eras when the competition they faced wasn't exactly brimming with youthful dynamism. But for the lighter weight classes, where speed and athleticism and razor-sharp reflexes count for so much, and where the talent pool is deep enough that good and great are separated by the thinnest of margins, age really does seem to matter. You can understand how this might be slightly annoying to Volkanovsky. He just turned 35 in September. And yes, he did lose a title fight the very next month, but it was in a higher weight class and he took it on two weeks notice in exchange for a big bump in pay, according to his longtime coach. Now, he's back in the division where he's never lost as a professional, and suddenly he's being warned that he got too old sometime between now and his last dominant title defense seven months ago. In the opposite corner, there's Topuria, the perfect antagonist for a fight with the ravages of age as such a big part of the narrative. He's 27 and dripping with the kind of confidence that only the young and unbroken can sustain. He's never lost inside the cage, never had to confront his own mortal limitations on live TV the way Volkanovsky has. As far as he knows, the future is just one long, upwardly trending line. What makes this such a potentially career-defining fight for Volkanovsky is that, in a rational world, he should lose this one. He's crossed the age threshold. He's just a few months removed from a bad knockout loss. He's facing a challenger who, based on everything we've seen so far, looks like he could be the future of the division. The way these things normally go, this is the one where the champ gets knocked off his throne. But then, Volkanovsky has made a career out of proving that conventional wisdom doesn't apply to him. Every sport he's done, from rugby to MMA, he's been too short, too physically unremarkable too lacking in the proper athletic pedigrees. Then he proved he was the world's best featherweight, and now he's too old. If he can go out there and win anyway, he might prove that the whole over 35 thing is just another rule that doesn't apply to him. And the only one who wouldn't be the least bit surprised would be the grizzled old man himself, 